Okay. Uh, to start this conversation off, yesterday, I, in my spirit, I was, uh, it's like God was saying to talk about this here topic. And I pushed it away. <clears throat> Excuse me. I pushed it away and just, you know, felt like, nah, I don't want to talk about that, you know, because I like to talk about certain topics, but this one was kind of like taking me out of the category of different things I like to talk about. But this morning when I woke up and it's just now maybe going on 6.30 a.m., this morning when I woke up, it was right back on my heart the same way it was yesterday evening, maybe around 6, 7 o'clock when God impressed my heart to, uh, to record this. But what's on my heart to mention is kind of like a precaution, a warning, uh, just to give us heads up regarding when we move, speak, act on different energies that are not in alignment with who we are as a person wanting to live a divine life, you know, not saying we're perfect or anything like that. But God has given us, and I believe it goes across the board, whether a person is trying to live a divine lifestyle or, or period, point blank, uh, man in general, whether you're trying to live a divine lifestyle or not, what God is wanting us to know that is when we do something, the consequences, good, bad, ugly, it's coming about a lot more faster than it did, let's say, in the last dispensation, uh, back, uh, back in the days or whatever. It's not that same energy. In my life, personally, God has always... If I did something, I saw my consequences like, like right away. I didn't have room to do something and to think I got away with something if I was choosing to do something that was not according to uh, what I know I shouldn't be doing. But the average man or man in general, humans in general, we have to know now that whatever we choosing to do, just know that the consequences are coming back instantly, immediately, <laughs> and to be doing something continuously in a negative energy or a um, derogatory way of God, the universe, we can know that period, good, bad, or ugly, the consequences are returning instantly. And again, to do this continuously, you're having a lifestyle that is spiraling in whatever direction. And let's pray the direction is upward bound, you know, good, lovely, pure. Let's pray we're reaping the consequences of those choices. But um, yeah, this is like a warning because we're going to have to think, ponder on what we're doing, what we're saying, what we're uh, thinking about, because the choice is very at hand to be able to make that decision. 
Should I be thinking about this? Should I do this? Should I say this? The spirit is so powerful within us for us to make the right choice or the choice that we want like the outcome of that choice. So my warning to us is to think before we speak, think before we act, think while we're thinking <laughs> because Hey, I'm paranoid of not doing something that's not in alignment with my spirit. It, it, it's a paranoia to me. And when triggers come up, I be about to act in a way that, that, that's, you know, like instinct wanting to lash out. But automatically... Your spirit should be checking us. It, you know, we got something in us that will check us. Check yourself before we wreck ourselves. And just to let us know, let's be careful on our thoughts, our actions, our words, because consequence is not hindering or not procrastinating, not prolonging. No, they're showing up instantly. Okay. Enjoy our holiday. God bless. I love you.